Welcome to Taseka Gaming Battlefield 2042 PC Low FPS Fix. This video is a brief layout really on a checklist of things that you can do to try and increase your FPS in the game. So the first step will be to download the latest NVIDIA driver. Uh, as of today, the latest NVIDIA driver for the RTX 3000 series from NVIDIA is 496.49. Once you've downloaded this driver, don't install it. First you need to run DDU driver uninstaller, which essentially clears all the uh, old drivers that you've got installed on your system and makes it ready uh, for you to install a new driver. Once you've run DDU driver, your computer should restart. You can then go ahead and install the latest NVIDIA driver. I just tend to leave it as a uh, stock really I don't mess about with any of the settings when it's installing once you've done that you then need to head to the Nvidia control panel in Windows and within that control panel you need to head to manage 3d settings and then under global settings scroll down and look for power management mode ensure that prefer maximum performance is set and then also within the Nvidia control panel you need to set up G-Sync if your monitor supports it and apply G-Sync for full screen and windowed mode and likewise if you've got an AMD graphics card enable FreeSync. You then need to just double check that your monitor is running at the correct uh, hertz that it should be run at i.e. 60, 120, 144, 165 uh, hertz. After this, you then need to change the video settings. Um, so within Battlefield, so within your settings under display and video, uh, my game set to full screen mode, my monitor, the resolution, refresh rate is set to 165, brightness, everything else is on the stock, and then graphics preset is set to auto, which puts everything at ultra. Um, AA is on high. Uh, ambient occlusion HBAO and then I've got dynamic resolution scale set to off uh, DLSS is set to performance ray trace ambient occlusion must be occlusion is set to off and ref reflex low latency is set to enabled future frame rendering on and vsync is on to match my monitor so with those settings enabled um, I've just done a quick video just showing you the uh, graphics and how it runs on my system. Thank you. All gold sector objectives under US control. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the um, MSI Afterburner and GPU-Z um, statistics really. Um, I've closed Battlefield down now and this is what my uh, processor was doing whilst gaming. Um, I just wanted to show you here, you can see the RAM usage. That's what it's currently using, 6.7 gig. But you see the maximum there. 16384 so it's using 16.3 gig of ram whilst gaming and then for my rtx 37 here i've changed all these so that it shows the max values um so it's interesting to note the maximum gpu load recorded 98 percent which is good we know that battlefield was using the graphics processor more than it was the uh, cpu um, and then also the so memory control load, the amount of memory it used, so it used 7.2 gig of RAM. Bear in mind this graphics card is an 8 gig graphics card, so it's fairly close to uh, using all of the video RAM. Um, and also just the temperatures there, which are a bit interesting. So it's interesting to note that, that it's using 16.3 gig of RAM, and a lot of people playing this game might only have 8 gig of RAM or 16 gig of RAM in the computer. I think it's definitely worth having 
32 gigabytes of RAM uh, in your system. It seems worthwhile for this game uh, as well. Lastly, I'd just like to point out how you would uh, identify a CPU or GPU bottleneck on your system. So obviously once you close the game and you check in with Afterburner, GPU, Z, how the game ran. Um, let's say you're looking at a GPU bottleneck. Um, so basically the graphics card isn't good enough um, for the processor. You would notice really high graphics card uh, load in the game, i.e. 100%, and then the processor would be extremely low, you know. 10-15% um, this isn't typically a common scenario to be honest the more common scenario would be a CPU bottleneck which essentially means the, the CPU the computer the processor is holding back the graphics card so what you would notice afterwards when checking how your game ran or checking it whilst gaming if you use like MSI afterburner overlay the CPU will be running at 100% or almost maximum and the graphics card will be running extremely low way lower the ideal scenario that you want to have whilst gaming is your graphics card running at or near 100 percent and then the processor catching up somewhere behind so whilst gaming for me my graphics card runs at 100 percent and the processor runs at 50 percent which is a ideal scenario it's also worth just double checking your temperatures as well. Is your graphics card overheating? Is your processor overheating? Again, you can double check these uh, afterwards or mid game and just have a quick look online. Just check what the uh, recommended operating temperatures are with a CPU um, overheat. Typically, your computer will restart to prevent any damage. Um, with the graphics card overheat you'll notice that the um, core clock on the graphics card will keep dropping down and it's essentially doing this to try and reduce the load uh, ultimately reducing the temperature that it's running at hope this video was helpful um, please like and subscribe the video and if you have any other comments uh, please post them below thank you